Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you, and let me be crystal clear. To leave an everlasting impact upon you, imagine, just imagine, being buried alive. You're in the coffin, but you also know you're not dead. You try to lift the coffin lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid makes it impossible to lift. You just think, today is the day you're going to die. You will suffocate in that coffin. But then you think, if I bang on the lid, I might unsettle all that dirt upon the lid. And maybe, just maybe, someone might notice and start digging their way down to help me. In reality, there are people probably standing there, but you just don't know that. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn. Folks, there are people, addiction recovery coaches, life coaches, that are out there ready to help you, probably even standing by your grave, but you don't know that. Usually, though, people like you, laying in that coffin, don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. With this, I often ask you, did it ever cross your mind when you were abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose and take something that was preciously given to you by the Lord Jesus Christ, your life, not just away from you, but from your loved ones. Selfishly, you will take your life away from your children, your grandchildren, your husband, your wife, your mother, your father. With this, I leave you with this. Don't be the person that I'm reading about laying in that coffin looking for help when it's too late. Instead, be a person that reaches out and grabs my hand and calls me at 844-405-HELP and says, Ralph, I have alcohol and drug addiction issues. Ralph, I have depression issues. Ralph, I have self low, uh, a low self-esteem issues. People like me are here to help you because I reached out during my time in need. And today... It probably is your time of need. Otherwise, you will end up like this person. I will help you if you call me at 844-405-HELP. I will help you take your life back before your life is gone. And there are other people like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. You can reach him at 516-458-2741. Larry Geis is an addiction recovery coach, a life coach like I am. He and I always tell people like you, it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. What matters is that you're here looking for a better today and a brighter tomorrow. You can find him at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. 516-458-2741. Larry Geis will also help take, your, uh, take back your life. But more importantly, he will help you from any life issue he will help you structure a future that is workable and that will make you happy and make the people around you happy. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. 516-458-2741. Folks, today I want to talk about never, ever, ever giving up. 22 reasons, but I'm going to add a 23rd reason. I am the 23rd reason. Back in 2009, I had a really bad accident up in uh, Amonic, Alaska, where I took three years of physical therapy, a few different surgeries, and yet I overcame that and continued my life. But I'm here to tell you, I still, after all this time, here we are in 2016, I still have not given up the hope of trying it one more time. You might ask, what were you doing in Alaska? Well, as you folks know, I am in the optometry business. So what I did is every month I would fly up there and travel with a doctor. And we would go into the Arctic Circle villages above and below the Arctic Circle and provide eye care and eyewear. And it was January 14th, 2009 when I had that terrible accident. Well, I'm here to tell you, April 12th, 2016, I will do it once again. Perfect example is never ever giving up. Yes, chances are 
in my favor that things will work out the best, uh, okay for me. But there's always that chance that after all this time, after all the physical therapy, after all the surgeries, that after this one trip, I'm going to finally realize and say, I can't do it again. But the fact that I didn't give up, that I'm trying it one more time, is based on what we are going to talk about this segment. 22 reasons to never ever give up. At some point, in various journeys we embark on in our lives, we get part where we feel like giving up, like I could have in 2009. Sometimes we give up before we even start, other times we give up just before we're about to make huge breakthrough that we've been putting so much effort in to try to attempt. I have created 22 reasons why you should never ever give up hope, and you will find before you give up so that I can inspire you to keep going. Number one, as long as you are alive, anything is possible. The only valid excuse you have to give up is that you are no longer alive. As long as you are alive and healthy and free, you have a choice to keep going and trying until you finally succeed, whatever you might be looking to do. Number two, be realistic. The chance of mastering something the first time you do is almost non-existing. Everything takes time to learn, and you will make mistakes. You will learn from them. Number three, Michael Jordan, famous basketball player, arguably the best basketball player of all time. He attributes his success to all his failures. He just never gave up, even when he knew he had missed over 300 shots and had missed the winning shot of the game many a times. Every time he got knocked down, he got up. Number four, Lance Armstrong. He's the famous bicyclist. Lance was diagnosed with serious cancer and had spread throughout the entire body. He had cancer cells the size of golf balls in his lungs. Despite all odds, he overcame cancer and set up to win the Tour de France six consecutive years in a row. Number five, Muhammad Ali. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Muhammad Ali is one of the best boxers in the world has ever known. He suffered only five losses have, while having 56 wins and was first boxer to win the Lineal Javier Championship three times in a row. This guy, who literally knows how to get knocked down when he got, uh, and, and he got up. Number six, the man who created the marathon. Very long ago, and. Athian Harold was sent to Sparta to get help when the Persians landed in Greece. It was said that he ran 240 kilometers in two days and after he ran 40 kilometers to get announced the victory of the Greeks only to collapse and die on the spot of exhaustion. If you ever feel like things are difficult, imagine what it will you like to run 240 kilometers in two days. Don't try because you might die from it, but it used as an inspiration. Number seven, Chris Gardner, The Pursuit of Happiness. Have you ever seen the movie The Pursuit of Happiness? It is based on the life story of Chris Gardner, a man who lived for the lowest of the lows in the environment where most people would give up. No money, no job, to the highest of the high, a millionaire with his own investment firm. If you ever think about giving up, watch this movie. Number eight, Kane West. I'm pretty sure you have heard of the rapper Kane West. Read the story. He is a big inspiration for me and proves that you can go from having very little to being among the most famous and respected people in life. Number nine, Nelson Mandela. Campaigned for justice and freedom in South Africa. Spent 20 years in jail for his opposition to Apai. On release, he healed the wounds of, uh, of Apai by McNamee's attitude toward the former political enemies. Number 10. You are strong. You are stronger than you think. One little setback is not enough to stop you from achieving your goals. Neither are 10 or 100 or even a thousand different setbacks. Number 11. Prove yourself. You don't want to get uh, to be known as someone that is weak and gives up at the drop of a dime. Go out there and prove yourself to the world and to yourself. You can and will achieve what you set out to do. The only time you fail is when you truly give up. Number 12. Has been done before. If someone else can do it, 
so can you. Even if it's the only one person in the world that has achieved what you're attempting to achieve, that should be the reason for you to never ever give up. Number 13, believe in your dreams. Don't sell yourself short. In life there are going to be many people who will try to bring you down and tell you that what you are trying to achieve is impossible. Don't let anyone destroy your dreams. Number 14, your family and your friends. Let the people you love who mean the, mo uh, the world to you be your inspiration to persist and persevere. Maybe you need to try different angles, study more and practice more, but don't ever, ever give up. Number 15, because I tell you to. Not that I'm any sort of guru or a godly figure, but if you want to give up, then please don't attempt to do that. Never ever try to give up. Just because I'm telling you to do doesn't mean anything. It's deep inside you that needs to want to never ever give up at what you might attempt to want to do. Number 16, there are people worse off. Right now, there are many people who are in worse situations and environment than you are right now. Matter of fact, you're sitting here watching me right now. That means you have electricity or a battery. Are you thinking about giving up? Uh, then maybe it's time for you to keep watching this particular video. Number 17, improve our world. When you achieve whatever you set out to achieve, you can use your success to make a difference in the world or in other people's lives. Number 18, get rich or die trying. Like 50, 50 Cent says, get rich or, try, or die trying. 50 Cent is rich. He made it. Although he did get shot nine times, face your fears and don't take it easy and giving up because he certainly didn't. Number 19, let the haters hate. There will always be haters. There will always be plenty of naysayers and people who try to tear you down. Don't pay attention to them and don't take what they say to heart. Let the haters hate and you keep believing in yourself. Number 20, you deserve to be happy. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. You deserve to be happy and you deserve to have all the success in the world. Keep the mindset and never give up until you reach your destination. Number 21, inspire others. Be an inspiration to others by refusing to ever, ever give up. Who knows what someone else can achieve because you never gave up and in turn inspired them to never give up by leading, by you leading by example. Number 22, you are so close. Often when you feel like you want to give up and you are about to give up, you are so close to making a huge breakthrough. Seth Godin has written an awesome book about this called The Dip. A riveting read that teaches that any at any given time you are always just a heartbeat away from success. This is what I say is never ever give up. Remember my story. Remember the, the uh, chronological timeline between 2009, three years physical therapy, surgeries, here we are in 2016, and I'm going to attempt what set me back for three years of physical therapy and all those surgeries, I'm going to attempt to do it once again. Yes, after the, was this one particular time, I might realize that it is time to pack it in. But I am not going to give up. I'm going to attempt it again. And this is why it is so important to keep believing that you can do. Because at some point in various journeys we embark in our lives, we get part where we feel like giving up. Sometimes we give up before we even start, and other times we give up just because uh, we're about to make a huge breakthrough that um, we have been putting much effort into, and then we give up right before that huge breakthrough was ready to come through for us. These are the reasons that I created these 22 things. As long as you are alive, anything is possible. Be realistic. Remember Michael Jordan never gave up even though he sh missed over 300 shots. Lance Armstrong, even though he had cancer, still ended up winning bicycle races. Muhammad Ali never gave up, although he kept going. He was knocked out five times. Number, uh, number six, the man who created the marathon. Remember, he ran 240 kilometers back in Spartan, Greece, and when he made it to the destination he set his goal for, he collapsed and died. Remember the Chris Gardner, The Pursuit of Happiness, Kane West, 
Um, remember his story, Nelson Mandela, who can't campaign, campaigned for freedom in South Africa. Remember you are strong. You prove to yourself how strong you are. And remember that it's been done before by someone else, so it gives you a, a reason to shoot for you. And remember uh, your family and your friends. And just because I tell you never to give, it doesn't mean anything. I'm not a godly person. All I'm trying to say is that you have a chance by knowing that other people can do it. And remember, there are people worse off than you are, no matter where you might be, and improve our world by keep trying, and uh, uh, get rich or die trying, and let the haters hate, let the naysay is naysay. Remember, you are everything, and you deserve to be happy, and you deserve to inspire others. Remember how close you are from being successful and accomplishing your goals. Remember, if you never ever give up, things will usually happen. And in order to succeed, you have to fail. Remember that. There are too many people that when they fail, they feel their failures. No. In order to succeed, you have to fail because failure equals uh, trying again, which equals succeeding. I hope to God, no matter where you are today, that you have the best day of your life. I hope to God that you have the sober rest of your life. And I hope to God you never, ever, ever give up on anything you might want in life. And may God bless you.